Hey HXR Smurf here, we're going to do a tutorial with uh, Clonezilla to a smaller hard drive about 60 gigabytes uh, to a 20 or 30 so I'll be using vCenter uh, ESXi 5.5 on an Intel Nook so here's some directions we got and let's go for it so I've got my 2012 box here and as we open Disk Manager maybe So we got a 60 gig hard drive, and it looks like we can size it down. Maybe it shows here, 85% free here. So that's like 10 gigs used, right? Yeah, awesome. About 8 gigs used. So why don't we shrink this down to as small as it can? Detecting partitions, so we can actually hmm, let's cut that down to 40, 40, 40. Oops, 40. So about 20. So we'll do. Is that right? That's not right. Here, why don't we just? 4500. There we go. 4500. So we'll shrink it down by 45 gigabytes or so. So it'll be a total of 20 gigs that we could copy. We want to do that in Windows so Windows doesn't get too confused with our stuff. So let's actually reboot just, just to make sure Windows detected it. Hopefully we come back up. There we go. So let's go ahead and log in. Well, that's doing that. Actually, we'll open Disk Manager again. We might be able to eat it, beat it. All right. So we'll add another disk. Hard disk. Next. Next. Do a 20 gig. Also change drives here. Use Gparted. Nope, we'll use Clonezilla. Okay. Make those changes. Let's open Disk Manager to make sure it all detected well. It should have. I don't suspect it why. I don't see a reason why it wouldn't. Awesome. So that's our new disk. That's our old disk, I guess. Resize down. So what we'll do is hopefully be able to boot into um, Clonezilla. I've got to change the uh, seconds setting so we can actually select the BIOS. So we'll do edit settings, options, boot options. We'll just increase that to 10,000 milliseconds. Let me see in progress. It's thinking about it. Sometimes my connection to it fails. Yep, see it failed connection. Ah, now we're back. So we should be able to just start it and select. Press escape. Go down to CD-ROM. Maybe. Yep, there we go. Go straight into Clonezilla. And first we're going to clone the 512 MBR partition. So it sort of detects um, the partitions. And then we'll have to reboot for the operating system itself to, you know, detect it. Um, 
One would think you could just DD SDA to SDB and well SDA1, SDA, SDB1, and then SDB or SDA2, SDB2, but for some reason DD doesn't like that. So we'll use uh, Clonezilla's magic partition system. Partition to partition, that is. We'll obviously see that in a little bit. So we'll just press enter a couple times to choose English and choose the US key map. And we'll do straight to shell, command line, do sudo cu. Make sure we have the right disks. So we'll do sdb, sda. So we'll do dd if equals dev sda off of equals sdb bs512 count equals one that count that uh copies the mbr of sd1 sda to sdb and we'll reboot to make sure it detects that then again we'll press escape select cd-rom go right into clonezilla All right, and we're back here. Just do English again. Don't touch key map. And we'll actually enter the shell so we can show you. So we'll type in sudo su disk sl and do f disk. As you can see right here, it sees. Oh, hey, I have partitions, but there's no data there. So as I was saying, one would think we could do dd sda2 to sdb2, but for some reason dd doesn't like that, as I mentioned before. So we we'll actually just exit twice. Start Clonezilla. We'll do device to device. We'll do beginner partition to local partition. Press the enter key and arrow keys to navigate. And it's thinking, I think I got disconnected. So then we'll select source um, SDA1. Destination SDB1, skip preparing, enter key. Yes, that's what we want to do. It'll copy that 350 megabyte per petition. We'll press enter, and we'll rerun it to copy that other partition, the data partition, and we'll do device device again. We'll do beginner, partition to partition again. We'll do SDA2 as the source, then SDB2 as the destination, skip checking, press enter, yes twice, now we wait for this. Oops, as you can see, it finished up as I close both windows. And it'll just go through here, press the enter key, then we'll want to reboot. Three, two, one. Then we'll actually want to press escape again and remove both drives. Well, not both drives, but the big one. And we'll want to unplug this G parted or Clonezilla, sorry. 
Then we'll wait for that to complete, and we should be able to just boot into the hard drive after a couple times. Look at that, we're booting into Windows 2012. We had to reboot because ESXi didn't detect the hard drive removal. It sort of, sort, of, sort of got confused. But why don't we log in to make sure everything is working? In the past, I had Explorer not working for some reason. But I think that's because I was using Gparted. And for some reason, Gparted doesn't like it. And maybe Clonezilla aligns the uh, partitions more correct. So we got that drive. Let's open Disk Manager and make sure we're all good here. All right, and Disk Manager, we've got a 20 gig hard drive with some extra space. So why don't we expand that? Do next a couple times. Did I do it right? I did. So yeah, look at that. So we went from a 60 gig hard drive to a 20 gig, and we still got space left over. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, peace out.